What's up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. We are back with another This Week in Destiny, giving you the full breakdown for the up and coming week. This week sees a new exotic quest, two new legendary brave weapon missions, a full breakdown of all the weekly rituals, the bonus and double loot, and so much more. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. We are well on our way to 200k, so make sure to hit that red button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss an update. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Another week and another this week in Destiny. This week marks week 21 of Season of the Wish and week 2 of Into the Light. Now this week sees the launch of Whispers of the Taken 2, the second exotic mission to earn the augments for the Whisper of the Worm. Now for the steps of this week's quest, they are in fact the same as last week. So you need to defeat Taken with Precision Damage and collect their Taken Essence. And on top of that, you'll need to defeat Taken Blights in the exotic mission Whisper on Legend Difficulty. Now it's likely that these Blights will be in a different location this week. But upon completing that, you'll still need to complete the exotic mission on the Legend Difficulty. And after speaking with Eris, she'll grant you the new Augment for the week. Now alongside those we have two new legendary quests in the form of brave weapon quests. This includes the midnight ride for the midnight coup and also climbing the mountain top for the mountain top grenade launcher. Now for the midnight ride you'll need to either rapidly defeat combatants using hand cannons anywhere in the system with extra progress being granted in onslaught or defeat guardians by using hand cannons. And as for the mountain top, you'll need to rapidly defeat combatants using breach loaded grenade launchers anywhere in the system. Again, you'll get bonus progress in onslaught, or you can choose to defeat guardians in crucible with grenade launchers. Now, upon completing either of those quests, you simply need to return to the Hall of Champions. Here you'll be able to attune to the relevant weapon. And by speaking to Shax, he'll also grant you a guaranteed shiny version of this brave weapon this week. If you're going to be chasing these two down, and arguably these are some of the most desirable ones in the set, then make sure to get these two quests done upon this week's weekly reset. Now next up we're going to move on to the exotic mission Rotator. Last week saw the introduction of Whisper, which saw that introduced as the featured mission. This week though we see the return of Vox Obscura. Now this launched back in the Witch Queen, so you will need to either own that expansion or Season of the Risen in order to access it. This mission is the home to the Dead Messenger, which is now craftable with an additional trait. And as well as that exotic, you can also pick up armor and weapons from Season of the Risen as well. That includes the explosive personality, recurrent impact, under your skin, sweet sorrow, thoughtless, peace of mind, and that's alongside the Tusked Allegiance armor set. Now these items can drop during the course of the activity or upon completion, and they can even drop as deep sight resonance versions if you're still looking to fill out your pattern collection. Now next up we're going to move on to the featured raid and dungeon content for the week. The featured raid this week is the Root of Nightmares, and this launch back in Lightfall is one of the more accessible raid experiences, but as the featured raid all the challenges will be available which is ideal if you're still looking to earn weapon patterns for some of the best raid weapons in the game. And on top of that, you can even farm Nezarek, the final boss, if you're still chasing down the conditional finality. This is arguably one of the best raid weapons in the game, great for PvE and PvP, and will be a weapon well worth farming if you don't have this one already. Now, as for the featured challenge for the Crota's End Raid, this can be found over at the EU Team Counter, and it's called Equal Vessels. Now, all six players must rotate the Chalice of Light buff in the same order throughout the entire fight. The easiest way to do that is at the beginning of each phase. And once you have enough enlightened players who can take out the Wizards, the remaining Guardian can place the Chalice of Light down in the main pedestal. It's actually one of the simpler challenges available. And if you and your team can get that done, you'll gain access to an extra raid chest and that all-important bonus raid loot. Now, as for the featured dungeon, the Ghosts of the Deep returns. This launched back in Season of the Deep. Much like the raid as it's featured, all the encounters are farmable. So if you're looking to get Artifice Armor or complete any of your collections for either the weapons or armor, then this week will be the week to do it. And if you don't have the Navigator, which is the exclusive Strand Trace Rifle, only available in this dungeon, 
then this week will be the week to get your hands on it. So make sure to get those fire teams together to get that challenge done. Now next, we're going to move on to Dares of Eternity and the 30th Anniversary Pack Activity. Alongside the Scatterhorn armor set from Forsaken, we see the return of the Pathfinder armor set from Season of the Lost. And as always with Season of the Lost armor, we have the relevant weapons as well, including the Fracta Fist, Chrysuria Mello, Volpecula, Wolf Tone Draw, Iota Draconis, Canis Major, alongside the Contingency Plan, Legal Action 2, Outrageous Fortune, the Steel Simple Z14, and a Spoiler Alert Sidearm. Now, none of those weapons are in fact craftable, so if you are still chasing down God Rolls, then this week is the week to pick them up. And as well as that, they've even added some of the older traits back to the original 30th anniversary pack weapons. We made a video covering all of them last week. So if you haven't checked out that video already, make sure to do so. And I'll leave the link to that down in the video description below. Now from here, we're going to move on to the weekly rituals. And we have a returning nightfall for week 21. This comes in the form of Hypernet Current that launched back in Lightfall. Now, Hypernet is one of the easy ones in this season's rotation. And when it comes to Nightfall exclusive rewards, this week sees the return of the Warden's Law Hand Cannon. This is your last opportunity to get it this season. So if you haven't got the God Rolls on that, then this is the week to do it. Because not only do you have bonus Vanguard ranks all week long, you even have bonus Nightfall rewards. So whether it's that weapon you're chasing or you want to top up all your end game upgrade materials before the launch of the final shape, then make sure to jump into Hypernet Current upon this week's weekly reset. Now, as for the featured Crucible Rotator, this week sees the return of Team Scorched alongside Clash. Now, Trials will return upon Friday's daily reset as well. So if you have any seasonal challenges outstanding for any of those Crucible modes, then be sure to jump in and get those challenges done. And finally, to round us out for the week, we have the Lost Sector calendar for the week. This week kicks off over in Scavenger's Den and will be offering exotic chess pieces. On Wednesday, you can head over to the Sky Dock, which will be offering exotic helmets. Thursday can be found over in the Quarry, which will be offering exotic boots. On Friday, with the return of Trials, Aphelion's Rest is back, offering exotic gauntlets. On Saturday, you can head back to the Bay of Drowned Wishes for another chance at exotic chess pieces. On Sunday, the Chamber of Starlight returns, this time though offering exotic helmets. And then we can round out the week over in Perdition, which will be offering exotic boots. So if you're still filling out your exotic collections, then be sure to plan your week accordingly. And these missions also drop World Drop weapons. So if you're chasing God Rolls for those, then be sure to check out this calendar in full for yourself over in Today in Destiny. And I'll leave the link to that down in the video description below. So there we have it guys, a good look on everything that you can expect for week 21 of Season of the Wish. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to pick up the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.